Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to be creating a formula field within Salesforce. Um, so you're going to want to go to whichever object you want to create that on. So from, I guess from the home page, we went to setup and then from setup, we clicked on object manager. Um, and then we went found our object, which is the new object that we created in a separate video. From here, we clicked on fields and relationships and click new. All right, here's how you're going to choose the field type from all your different kinds of fields. So let's go ahead and click formula and either scroll up or down and click next. Um, I'm just going to label this formula field field. Oops, I did not spell that right. Formula field. All right, and then the field name should auto populate. Um, and this is where you're going to kind of choose what type of um, equation it's going to pop out for you. It's either going to be like a number or date, time, percent, stuff like that. Um, and it gives you a different examples. So I'm going to do a number field. And it's going to give us some decimal places. So I'm going to do that. And honestly, I'm just going to do a super simple plus one formula. So it's going to be plus one. And then I'm going to check the syntax. And it looks like the syntax down here is good. Um, this can be used for different things. The example they give is it's going to calculate fair or convert whatever to Fahrenheit. Um, and you can see there are more examples here. If it'll let us click on it, it will let us click on it. But I assure you that you'll be able to look at more examples. Um, and again, you can output it as percent or you can do it as a date time field, a checkbox, stuff like that. Um, so here we're going to go down to description. This is for any admins on the back end. And it would be super helpful on formula fields to kind of say like, oh, this field is for this purpose. Um, and this is how we kind of got to the conclusion. Help text is for the end user. Also could be really useful for a formula field. Um, but I'm going to leave it blank just because this is a trailhead account. So let's go ahead and click next. And this is where you set the field level security. So this is where it shows if it's visible or read only. A formula field is going to be read only for everybody. Um, and if you need to change it, you're going to have to change it some other way. Figure out what's kind of causing it to be there and do some little background research. I'm going to click next, leave everything default. This is going to add it to the object layout or the page layout. Um, it probably won't be in the right spot where you want it. So after you save, you go to page layouts and change it there. So I'm going to click save. And our formula field is there in the object. So that's how you kind of create a formula field. Super simple. Um, be sure to test out your formula field because it can get a little tricky. Um, but otherwise, that's how you do it. Thanks for watching this video. Be sure to like it and subscribe to the channel. It really helps out my channel and helps me create more helpful videos like this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one.